Welcome back my super soul sisters and today we're actually going to talk about a pair of shades. So we kind of again, I've, I've touched once before on shoes and shades, but this is now kind of shifting into the filter, how we filter the world and the pair of shades that we're wearing, the glasses that we're wearing tends to determine how we interpret the world. Okay, so I'm going to start mixing things up a little bit here just to make sure that you're all keeping on track, right? <laughs> um, but the whole idea of this is that, um, you know, another way to put it is like, if you change your story, you change your life. If you change the way that you look at the world, the world that you look at will change, okay? And in, in the same respect, it makes it easier for you to actually handle it. So in NLP terms, we call it reframing. Um, you know, we've got uh, Tony Robbins who talks about, you know, change the story, change your life. Uh, we've got uh, Wayne Dwyer who says, you know, talks about, you know, if you change the way you look at things, the, 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 what you look at will change. So it's such an important pair of glasses to wear. You know, these are just amazing shades. They really are. Because um, if you can crack this, Honestly, you you know, it makes life so much easier. So you've got to be very aware of people's language as well. When they are talking um, to me, you know, um, I, I listen very clear, carefully to, to the words that people pick. And, you know, you might want to start monitoring that for yourself. Like, like notice, like, you know, oh, um... You know, like I was, I was talking about how we delete and distort earlier on in the channel, in the YouTube channel. And if you, um, you might want to go back and listen to that if you haven't already done that. But the, it's, it's quite similar in the fact that if we distort something in order or delete something in order to make it fit our map of the world so that we're comfortable with it. It supports our theory. It supports our story that this is the way uh, life actually is. So I'll give you a perfect example. Like um, the, uh, we live in Queenstown in New Zealand um, and you know obviously those who live here know all about it we're surrounded by some beautiful mountains they're absolutely stunning um, and we can ski on them now I absolutely love it um, you know there are parts where the mountains you know you kind of like in a valley and it is quite close to you the mountains and that doesn't particularly work for me just because of the proximity really um i find it too close to me but you know actual queenstown itself uh, is spread out enough and we live in a in a sort of open what used to be farmland area and it's converted from um a farm into um a, a beautiful suburban uh complex and so we have the benefit of seeing all these different mountains. So I remember, and I'll just give you a joyful little moment that I had years ago when the brand new school was actually built uh, where my kids' primary school, um, where our kids have gone to school there. And um, I was taking a video of um, the, the school for my oldest brother, my mum and everything overseas, like my, my, my family overseas. And while I was doing it, I was actually taking it off the school. But as I was spinning around, I was like, and I said, oh, well, over there is um, the Coronet Mountain that you can ski on. And then I, 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 you know, panned all the way around. I was doing a 360. And I went, oh, and that that mountain over there is Cadrona. And that's another ski mountain. And then you pan around this way. And there's Remarkable Ski Mountain. And then you go around the, you know, the back, and it's a little bit of a distance. And I said, but if you carried on straight, you'd hit the lake. And I just stood there in the middle of the court, like the basketball court outside. And I was like, dang, far out. How many places could you live in in the world where you're surrounded by three ski, like three ski resort places that you can just drive to. Like our house is like equidistant pretty much to each of those. So in winter, I think it's freaking fantastic personally. I think it's awesome. Like I'm like, wow, you know, like I grew up in Zimbabwe, we didn't have um, snow, you know, it got cold, but it wasn't stuff you could ski on. 
And then in South Africa, we would go to a place called Cape Town for all our Cape Town. Yeah, I know we've got South Africans in the group. <laughs> Fantastic. And I went to university there. And Cape Town is, is flat, it's high, and it's a big, you know, tourist resort, and it's cold, and this is very similar to that, where it's like, you know, but instead of it being flat mountain, this is a mountain, they've got table mountain there, um, but we've got mountains we can actually ski on, you know, so people go up there, but there's no, oh, I mean, I think they do get a bit of snow now and then, but it, they don't ski on it, let's put it that way. So I see this as an absolute, like, OMG, like, I mean, how lucky am I? How blessed are my kids? Like, our kids go to this brand spanking, you know, new school. Like, they quite literally built it on our doorstep out of the kind of, they just knew I was moving to the area, of course. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, that, that was just, oh, I can't believe that, you know? Like, it, it is brand spanking new. It's the new method of teaching. It's all funky and new, and it's surrounded by all these mountains um, that they can ski on, and then in summer, you can go and do mountain biking. Okay, so, all right, I'm diverting. So that's my glasses. I'm going, my view of the scenario is how friggin' lucky am I? I am so blessed. I've got these shades on and I'm like, I wake up every morning and I see a ski mountain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we could go skiing today, darling. You know, I mean, how crap is that, right? So I think this is absolute blessing. Now, I've had other people, and this is not uncommon, I, you know, I'm a coach, and I've had people go, I can't stand it. These mountains are just closing me in. I can't breathe. I, I, I have to get out of here. So I've had people leaving town. I had one lady who actually immigrated because of this. Her glasses were... They, they, it's like a vortex, it, it, it's an energy drainer, uh, the big mountains are ominous and overbearing. Uh, she wakes up in the morning and she sees it, what did she used to say? She used to say something about, like, they're just closing in, they're just closing in around me, you know? So she, uh, I had to do a bit of therapy as well with another person where she, they were, uh, I don't remember if, if you know this, maybe this is going back too far for some people, but maybe not. Um, in the old days, they had those crazy things with those false walls, and that, and you know, um, in in movies and stuff, and they would, and the door, and the walls would like close like that, you know, and the people would be stuck, and they're like, oh, how are they going to get out? How are they going to get out? Well, it's the same sort of thing. This is this was the analogy that she had was that she felt like these mountains were doing this to her. Now, different pairs of glasses, right? I mean, I'm like, what? how could you what you can go skiing on them there's no there's no walls closing in there baby you're out on the top of the mountains with spectacular expansive views of the valley and she's just saw it as this thing where it was just closing in and closing in and closing so what's changed so you know in my emotional resilience toolkit one of the exercises that i took about there and really you really want to get this one guys i mean this if you get that exercise, it's really a teaching. It's really a learning. Um, it's the meaning of life. And if you can get that, really get that, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. It's such a, if you, if you buy nothing else, this was a huge thing for me when I first learned the meaning of life through one of my courses that I did. And I have to tell you, after that, I suddenly was like, Oh, I've had these kind of glasses on for so long. <gasps> wow. And I was like, why am I making it mean that? And why am I making it? So it helps you to change the story. Now, that is something that will be available once the website's actually built. Go and have a look at it. Have a look at and see if you're open to buying that because that is just, it's not a big, it's not a long lesson. It's not, you know, but it's one that will really change your life if you are open to receiving the gift of acceptance because it does take quite a bit of mind shift when you're like nah you know it can't be like that ah uh, you know like saying to that lady you know those the mountains aren't moving in you know they're just mountains she was like you know she it really was I taught her that lesson and in that lesson she just went in that session she just went 
holy smoke really and it wasn't ever a problem for her after that she didn't get that claustrophobia she didn't get that um panic she actually had panic attached to waking up in the mornings thinking you know um what if there was you know an earthquake or what if you know the what i think she said something about the mountains actually coming together you know and stuff like this anyway so you know and then it was like oh my gosh you know so i could actually look at it as going up there and skiing and enjoying it so you know how you wear your shades, you know, um, your reframing glasses, how you look at things in a different way is really important. So um, I would like you to think about what examples, you know, that you've got, like, you know, you could look at something in a different way. So tips that can help is changing the language so um say for example let me see if i can think of an example it's like um okay i mean we could just go straight back to the mountains like are the are the mountains actually moving so you, you see how we're questioning the that what's become the reality for them we're questioning that reality by going but are they actually moving no they're not are they and they go, ah. Oh. So you start dismantling the um, the myth that isn't serving them. The 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 story. You start um, peeling back the layers of the story. It's almost like the onion. You know, you, you you pull out. You know, and it's like, oh, actually, if you keep peeling and peeling and peeling, there's actually nothing there, right? So you could make it mean whatever you want, right? So the by putting on your glasses what glasses could you put on that would make them you know make the the situation easier for that other person so um you know it might be uh like here's an example um you know the the kids like i was saying you know how we were talking about how we delete distort and generalize um in in one of the earlier videos and you know the the kids say oh they always say that about you know that girl or oh she's always mean to me and i go well always is she always mean to you like you mean every single minute of the day every single minute of the day that person's mean to you and i go well no but most of the time and you go okay so it's not all the time it's now most of the time so by most of the time do you mean like um every single day for five hours a day and you're at school for six hours a day so for five hours a day she's mean and they go well okay not really but you know do you um you know at least at least at break times oh so you're telling me that every single break time that that you know that person's mean and then they go well there was that one time and there you go you see so now you've actually changed the story for the other person by challenging it in a way that's like oh really is is that really you know how it is so when you start asking about facts and also how you deliver that that messaging is really quite key as well so you know it's again it's not the what it's the how you deliver that message some people can handle with the hardener shoes on and the softener shoes on if you got hardener person then you can just give it to them straight if you if they're with a softener and your hardener big 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 one for the hardeners to do is to put on softener shoes because they just don't get it it's like why do you need to wear them i don't need to wear those i just like to say how it is and it's like yes but does that give you the result and will that create a reframe that's going to help them heal or get them shifted from a to b so that was a very good lesson i hope you really enjoyed that one because that one's a biggie um and if you can put a whole lot of reframing you know just whenever you get stuck in a story go how could i look at this differently let me literally go and take these shades off i'm going to take these shades off and i'm now going to put a different pair on and i'm going to go right I'm, how could i look at this differently that's going to help me and serve me um, maybe you can give me an example. Maybe, you know, you could actually put in the comments box and say, you know, I'm going to test this out. Um, and I noticed that this is a story and this is how I changed it. I put my reframing glasses on 
um, and this is what I found that it actually I don't get so wound up by it or I'm not so depressed about it or you know um, actually the mountains don't move them <laughs> I mean it could be quite something quite literal you know who knows or maybe you you try it on like you know one of your kids or somebody you know who's struggling at work or a friend give it a try you know and see and if um and share it share it in the facebook community as well will you um if you're in here already thank you my super soul sisters for joining me once again i really appreciate it and also in the youtube channel if you wouldn't mind liking sharing and subscribing uh that would be so super really would appreciate it anything that's going to help get us into our shoes on our own paths going our own way how awesome would that be with all the support that in the world as as much as we can possibly give each other i really hope you found that useful namaste